North Carolina, I think they're still trying to find their ideal formation. They go with the four back tonight. Uh, they certainly are, but the one thing that we know about North Carolina is they want to get numbers forward. For Notre Dame, a couple of tweaks for Nate Norman tonight. Sophia Fisher coming into the back line, and Ellie Ospek get, get some momentum to attack the, the corner kick. Go, go, go. Comes the service, curling in toward Bell. She was the target. Still in front of goal, but Ben Keel scores it for North Carolina, and it is Patterson. Bouncing on the loose balls in the 18-yard box. Great delivery. Macy Bell is always going to be the focal point with her height, her ability in the air. Wins it initially, but then just look at the follow-up. They get there first, the aggression, just to get something on it. There's not a ton, but it's a, a great no-look finish by Patterson. Sixth goal of the year. From midfield, first sub of the match. We'll see Lynch come off. Really didn't get to do too much at all, and Charlie caught. Well done from Ben Zanton again as that ball's turned over, but wins it back quickly. Oh, a missed touch in the back. And that's what we're so used to seeing from this Notre Dame team and how difficult they can be. Oliaro puts it across. Boy, the crosses are flying in for North Carolina right now. Cut back, a shot, and North Carolina adds to the lead. Hey, hold on, let me take that back. Side net was this. Well, it's Darlene with the initial pressure and then gets the, the rebound again. That doesn't Ooh. miss by much. For to defend. North Carolina gets it up and look, that's a massive save. Well, that is a huge save. Another great build up as Cox on this near side that just gets past Roy and the right ball, a cutback ball as the late run was coming in. As Darlene again, it takes it well, but Olsen. Trying to get some width. Ball left a little short, Clinky. Can she make something of it, Mercado. Back to Clinky with the turn, chance edge of the area. Weiss up into the box for Notre Dame. In front of the goal, the Irish, yes, they've got the tie. That is just about getting a hold of the ball, being composed, being patient, getting numbers into the box, and then they do everything right. They've got numbers in the box, it's a little cutback ball, where they have the runners, and then they pounce on it. And it is an excellent finish from Cod. Just keeps it on frame as she swings through it. Ties the game 1-1 for Notre Dame. Really against the run of play for how much possession opportunities North Carolina has. But a huge goal. Completely against the run of play in this first half. And they get something back on the set piece. Headed back in front, but off the top of the crossbar and out. So much energy really throughout that first half for North Carolina. It feels a little bit like it has waned somewhat as we start the second half. Let's see if that changes. There's a shot. Well, that's one way to get things going. It's a little high. Sin Elgin with the shot. Well, that is a left back because they have started in the four back North Carolina. There's been a more maturity in this second half for Notre Dame. North Carolina still trying to figure it out. This will earn another corner kick for the Heels. But this second half, much more positive in the way that they're playing on both sides of the ball. And then North Carolina, yeah, I mean, listen, dominated that first half. Will be extremely upset with themselves. Delos! Three, four players go down, and we've got a foul whistled in the box. The Tar Heels are going to get a penalty on this play guessing by that gesture. Yep, there you go, no penalty. Three assists on the season for Centaur. Had a goal against the Irish in that quarterfinal win in South Bend last year. Going to goal off the crossbar, it goes. And probably, perhaps even impossibly, Notre Dame manages to hang on for the 1-1 draw, third straight tie for the Tar Heels, who do remain unbeaten but can only pick up the single point on the night.